Hi everyone. So I'm testing the Diamond Antenna D220R. This is one of those antennas that receives uh, information, a dicone, I believe it's called. Okay. So I'm using a rig expert. I'm using the 600, AA600. Let's go from 100 kilohertz to 600 megahertz. We'll do 150 points measurements and we'll see where it goes interesting very interesting couple of strong dips ooh that one's strong too okay so first peak here is uh, 40 uh, 40,000 kilohertz is 40 megahertz SWR of 5.76 now I don't know if SWR is important for a receiving uh, antenna or a dicone. If you do know, I'm probably can look it up also in the research. But if you do know, tell me if it is. Uh, over here, this is another peak uh, at uh, 76 uh, megahertz and SWR 5.07. My understanding is that those numbers are pretty poor. But down here at 144 megahertz, that definitely is going to help out. That's definitely the two meter uh, band. And we are at SWR at 1.22. Now, uh, on the package, it says that uh, 144 is 2.15 dBi so that's interesting uh, okay let's keep going here's another peak uh, pretty high SWR 4.31 180 megahertz and we can look over here very quickly and uh, very hard to locate here but SWR 9.13 at 284 megahertz. This one is 380 megahertz, 3.28. And down here, we have uh, SWR 1.39, very nice, 440, that's what, 70 centimeters? Very interesting. So, maybe we should look closely at uh, 440, maybe something like 430 to, 450 maybe sure let's do that 440 to 450 let's look at that with uh, 150 points let's see what it does wow very interesting So uh, 1.39, 1 1 1.47, you can see is the SWR, not bad, not bad at all. Um, let's go a little bit higher, let's go to 480 megahertz, all right, let's see what happens there. Interesting, as you can see, it's going up. Right here, there's maybe an inflection point, maybe right here. SWR 1.87 at 400 and 452 megahertz. There's another, maybe an inflection point or, or you know, local max. Uh, SWR 3.30 at 400 and 472 megahertz. Interesting. Okay, let's do uh, one four. 140 megahertz to 150 megahertz. Uh, 150 points. Let's see how that goes. Very interesting. You can see it points very easily to this area right here. As a matter of fact, it even goes lower, doesn't it? Um, lower. It doesn't seem to move much. Let's get closer to 
144 to 145. 144 to 145. Okay, let's run it. Wow. Seems to drop very nicely around this area right here. Definitely. I'm not sure why it doesn't move. Huh. I'm not sure. But you can see that the S SWR is below 2 for sure. Okay, very nicely. Now, I'm interested to see maybe the Smith's chart at, uh, let's clear this, uh, from 143 um, megahertz to, let's say, 148 megahertz. Let's run it. My understanding is if the line crosses this zero line, then it resonates at that particular um, ohms. So right here, the ohms is at 61 ohms, right? Yeah, about 61 ohms, um, which is very close to 50, and it's resonating at 144 uh, megahertz. That's pretty, pretty neat. Let's clear that. Let's go to um, 439, 439 megahertz to, um, well, even be, let's do it even before. Let's go 430 megahertz. Can we do that? Let's see. 430 megahertz to 450 megahertz. Let's see what happens. And let's see where the line goes. Look at that. That's pretty amazing. So if we follow this line, it hits 34 ohms, uh, SWR 1.5 at 436 at 440. The ohms is at uh, about 37. But my understanding is it, it needs to hit the line um, if it's going to resonate. 100% or perfectly but either case it's um, SWR is doing awesome okay so again this is the diamond D 220R the daikon um, if anybody knows anything about uh, is an SWR or even the Smith chart even important uh, for a daikon would be great if you can give me a, uh, a comment. If you like this video, please press the thumbs up, please subscribe, and I hope to see you later. Bye-bye.